Last Chance Mustang, the story of one horse, one horseman, and one final shot at redemption by Mitchell Bornstein is an evocative true account that chronicles the interwoven lives of two disparate spirits, a dangerous, abused Mustang named Samson and the empathetic, persistent horseman, the author himself. This narrative is much more than a tale of rescue. It is one of connection, healing, and the indomitable will to survive against overwhelming odds. Samson, named after the biblical figure for his considerable strength and fearsome demeanor, is a wild horse who undergoes both physical and psychological trauma after his capture by the Bureau of Land Management, BLM. The horse's saga begins with his life in the wild, followed by the harrowing experiences of being rounded up and shuffled through various holding facilities and owners. Samson's natural instincts for freedom and distrust of humans are exacerbated by repeated abuse and neglect he encounters at the hands of those who try to tame him. This results in a horse so violent and unmanageable that he is deemed dangerous and is just one step away from being euthanized. On the other side of this tale is Mitchell Bornstein, a dedicated animal advocate and attorney by profession, who comes upon Samson's case by chance. Bornstein has a history with horses and a deep-seated belief in the therapeutic and redemptive power they possess. He recognizes something in Samson that others do not, a flicker of the noble creature that once roamed free and a long-buried potential for trust and companionship. Bornstein is moved by the horse's plight and sees in Samson a reflection of his own personal and professional struggles. He sees the Mustang situation as one last shot at redemption for both of them. Their story is not an easy one. It is fraught with setbacks, challenges, and moments of doubt. Bornstein takes on the formidable task of rehabilitating Samson, knowing that the horse's aggression has less to do with inherent viciousness and more to do with his traumatic past. The approach to Samson's recovery is mindful and gradual. Bornstein exhibits a deep understanding that trust must be earned and that progress will only come from patience, consistency, and respect for the Mustang's spirit. He rejects traditional forceful methods of horse breaking, opting instead for gentle and innovative training techniques that align with the ideals of natural horsemanship. Their journey together involves both physical and emotional labor. Bornstein works to acclimate Samson to human touch, familiarize him with saddles and bridles, and teach basic commands, all while being acutely aware of the horse's triggers and trauma. The horseman faces pushback from onlookers, doubters, and even those within the equine community who believe Samson is beyond redemption. Yet, with the help of his wife, friends, and a network of supporters, Bornstein perseveres. As Samson learns to trust Bornstein and accept his guidance, the Mustang begins to exhibit signs of transformation. Small victories, the accepting of a carrot from hand, the tolerance of a halter, a calm walk around the arena, become monumental achievements. The bond forged between the horse and the horseman deepens through these triumphs and trials, and Samson gradually sheds his aggressive demeanor, revealing a capable and majestic animal longing for partnership. Interlaced with the story of the rehabilitation is an exploration of the history and challenges of America's Mustangs. The book discusses the controversial nature of the BLM's wild horse roundups, and the profound impact of human intervention on the Mustang population. It sheds light on the complexities of wildlife management, the often murky ethics of horse training, and the societal perceptions of what defines a lost cause. In a broader sense, the book raises important questions about resilience, the possibility of change, and the capacity for forgiveness, themes that resonate on both human and animal levels. As Samson starts to emerge as a stable and responsive creature, Bornstein reflects on the idea of second chances and the universal need for understanding and empathy. The horseman delves into his own personal reflections and growth, acknowledging the lessons learned from his equine charge and the powerful emotional impact of their relationship. Though Samson endures moments of regression and the occasional resurgence of his old fears, the Mustang's progress is undeniable. Bornstein guides Samson into becoming an ambassador for the misunderstood and the mistreated, showcasing the potential for even the most damaged of souls to recover and flourish. Samson's transformation is not only a testament to the tenacity of the natural spirit, but also to the healing power of compassion and dedicated mentorship. 
The climax of their tale is deeply moving and serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring connection that can exist between species. Samson's journey with Bornstein illustrates the profound truth that every creature, no matter how broken by circumstance, possesses the inner strength to overcome adversity with the aid of a caring steward. Last Chance Mustang ultimately is a meditation on hope, an ode to the rugged beauty of the American West, and a tribute to the remarkable bond between a man and a Mustang. True to its title, the book captures the essence of a final shot at redemption, and it celebrates the gritty, beautiful reality of giving and receiving a last chance. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.